Hello students. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights. I am Muhammad Kabir CP, Assistant Professor of History, Haji Karutara Udra Haudiya College, Uttampale. This is the logo of International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights. The International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights is signed in 1966. As the main source of the origin of the civil and political rights is considered to be the American and French Revolution. So economic and social rights are considered to be originated in the Russian Revolution of 1917 and in the Paris Peace Conference of 1919. The International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights is a multilateral treaty adopted by United Nations General Assembly on 16 December 1966 and came into force from 3rd January 1976. It commits its parties to work toward the granting of economic, social and cultural rights ESCR, to the non-self-governing and trust territories and individuals including labor rights and the right to health, the right to education and the right to an adequate standard of living. As of January 2020, the covenant has 170 parties. The ICESCR is part of the International Bill of Human Rights. Along with the Universal Declaration of Human Rights UDHR, and the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, including the latter's first and the second optional protocols. The covenant is monitored by the UN Committee on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights. The significance of the Paris Peace Conference was the establishment of the International Labour Organization, which laid emphasis upon the concept of social justice by proclaiming that peace can be established only if it is based upon social justice, and the failure of any nation to adopt human conditions of labour is an obstacle in the way of other nations which desire to improve the conditions in their own countries. The former American President Franklin D. Roosevelt was the first man who put an hope for an instrument dealing with the economic and social rights. In his message to Congress in 1944, President Roosevelt referred to the four essential freedoms, that is, the freedom of speech and expression, freedom of any person to worship in his own way, freedom from want and freedom from fear to which he looked forward as the foundation of future world. Freedom from want, it may be argued, formed the basis on which the concept of economic and social rights were formulated. He stated that people who are hungry and out of job are the stuff of which dictatorships are made. In his opinion, true individual freedom cannot exist without economic security and independence. Thank you.